Hey guys, this is Mark with Apple Tech Win Toy. In this video, we're going to be checking out the Archer Bluetooth transmitter and receiver. This is a tiny box that can either take signals from an audio source and transmit it to something that's Bluetooth like a speaker or earbuds, or it can take a Bluetooth signal from your phone or computer and put that into a non-Bluetooth speaker. It's a two-in-one device that allows you to convert either non-Bluetooth speakers or add Bluetooth to a non-Bluetooth device. That's a lot of Bluetooth, let's check it out. So inside of the box we will find a couple of accessories along with the device itself. We get a micro USB power cable, but this does have a battery built in, which is really awesome, and I'll tell you why I love it in a minute. We also got an auxiliary cable, because if your phone still has a headphone jack. You also get an RCA cable if you're really going old time, and we've got optical audio. Take a look at the device itself. On the top, we have a button that is the power button as well as pause and play. On the left and right, we have volume up and down. However, it's very complicated and confusing. Can be volume, but it may not be. And then right below that, we do have a sync button to connect the device to Bluetooth headphones or a speaker. On the front, we have a light that will tell you the status. On the left side, there is a switch between auxiliary and SPDIF. That's going to switch between the um, auxiliary or the RCA and optical audio. On the opposite side, we have our switch between RX and TX, so it's going to be a receiver or a transmitter. And then on the back, we have our auxiliary port as well as um, optical audio in, out, and power. So like I said, this device does have both features built in. And if we turn it on, the light will indicate what mode it is in. If it is flashing green, that means it is in the transmitter mode. You can flip the switch on the side, but you do need to restart the device in order to have those changes take effect, and then it will turn blue for receiver mode. If we put the device in transmitter mode, all we have to do is connect an audio source. So I am a big fan of using this as a wireless audio transmitter for filmmaking. I can have wireless headphones and be around on set and not have to worry about losing audio connection, but I can still be able to move and there's no cable with me. So in my case, I would put in an audio recorder as an export for the headphones. Then all I have to do is turn the device on, click the button to put into pairing mode, and then turn on my headphones. Because there's no screen or anything, you can't really connect it, but it will recognize that signal and will automatically connect to your headphones. If at first you do not hear anything, you're gonna need to turn the volume up really high because the signal is not that great for volume wise so you're not going to get a ton of volume out of this but once you do turn it up it actually does work i was incredibly impressed and the fact that you have both a transmitter and a receiver in this device is awesome the process is very similar if you're doing it as a receiver all you have to do is put into receiver mode connect it to your phone then connect that to a speaker and you can send your signals of audio to a non-bluetooth speaker really easily. Like it's supposed to, the middle button does pause the track you're listening to. However, in videos, um, I've noticed some issues where it doesn't actually play it, it can only pause it. Also, you have to press and hold the buttons in order to change the volume. If you just single click them, it's going to go to the next or previous track, which is a little strange. Overall, the device is very light. It's pretty cheap feeling, but it actually does work. Volume is not that great but there is not a lot of hiss and noise. The connection's pretty good and it actually works. That's all that I'm really concerned about for this price. Um, I'm definitely super excited to start making a movie um, and I'll be able to use this as a wireless transmitter for my headphones. Um, but yeah, that's it. I absolutely love this thing. It comes with a ton of things and you can use it for unlimited purposes and it's both a transmitter and a receiver. If you have any questions about the device or if you're interested in picking it up, I'll drop a link to that down below. And if you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Apple Tech 128, and I'll see you in the next one.